If you're an iOS user and your 5G is playing up, or if for some reason you were set for an even lower internet speed like say 3G or 2G, how do you exactly make sure that your phone runs at 4G? Well, it is very, very simple to do on a modern iPhone. First off, you want to go into your settings and then tap on either cellular or mobile data. It will say one or two depending on where you're based, but it is going to be a little green antenna icon. From there, you want to tap into your SIM card, then select voice and data. And for the menu that pops up, you want to select either 4G or LTE, which again, depending on where you're located and who your provider is, it will say one of those two things, which at least for the purposes of this tutorial, pretty much mean the exact same thing and offer very similar speeds. From this menu, you can also set other standards like say 5G, 3G, 2G, depending on what your requirements are. Again, most of the time, it's not something you have to do. It's more so a troubleshooting step if, for example, there is some issue with the 5G in your area. Plenty of times, for example, it has happened where your phone might say it is running at 5G, but it's just unable to really reach any websites whatsoever. So at that point, you may want to force it to run at 4G instead. So there are definitely a couple of reasons why you want to do that. In terms of how these steps actually look like, well, this was done on a pretty recent version of iOS. On some older ones, it could differ a bit. If you once again go into cellular or mobile data, depending on what you have, and from there you do not press on your SIM card, but then instead hit on the options near the top of the menu, then tap on voice and data, and you can select which standard of mobile data tech you want to be running. It is super simple to do on iPhone, but it just depends on which version of the operating system you are running. So hopefully that's everything you need to know about how to set up 4G on your iPhone. Again, most of the time, you hopefully don't have to do that, but in just in case you do have to do it, well, now you know. So if you found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.